matchmaking, right? And it's in a, in a later patch of 318, we'll be able to queue up to get back into the same shard each and every time. So right now, the way the way things work, okay, this is not gonna work. The way things work, um, these whenever you log in, it will tr it will try to put you in the same shard that you were on before, right? So now each shard will have its own persistence. So you leave a, um, a, a can on Daymar, for example, somewhere on a rock, it'll stay there in that shard. To really experience the full persistence, you need to be able to be in the same shard every time you log in. The way it works right now, once you try to get in, once you try to log in, the it will the logging um, service will try to get you back in the same shard. But if it's full, it will put you in somewhere else. So once it puts you in a different shard, that persistence for you as a player logging in is gone because that can is no longer at that on that rock. It's on that shard that you were on before. So with the matchmaking coming in, this means you can queue up to get into that shard every single time and you'll actually start experiencing that full persistence that we're supposed to get with this PES. So, and uh, it's gonna open things up for so much more things, I think, you know. Um, for example, once, once we get our hands on something like this, right? Do a quick buy here. Right, once matchmaking comes in. So this means players will now be able to go somewhere. Let's say a group of players, a group of friends will decide, pick a location on a planet. They can go there, land their ships. And if they have cargo boxes, containers or anything like that, they could drag and put them on the ground at that location to signify that, that this is their location. And they can leave their ships there. They can log out, come back in, and it'll still be there as long as they're in the same shard. So you can have a group of players living in locations, random locations that they choose. And they could literally log in every time and everything that they left on that server will still remain. And that's that's when we're gonna start seeing true persistence there once, once that's it. So matchmaking is gonna be a critical service that we're going to get hopefully very soon and that's that's one thing i'm really excited about because this is when we'll start seeing the full effect of pes and then when you couple that with some of the future patches when it comes to resource management when it comes to more quality of life updates when it comes to survival mechanics when it comes to black intellect happy new year man how are you doing happy new patch wednesday <laughs> nice 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 you know so when it comes to the survival mechanics i'm i'm, I'm sure they're going to be adding more of that you know you know whatever you find whatever you loot is going to be important right you loot you loot food you loot gear you know it's going to be important to keep it to keep it on you right Resource management, you're going to need stuff to actually maintain your ships now. You're going to need filters to filter out your oxygen on your ship. And there are limited resources, so you're going to have to always upkeep these things on your ship. Right? You're going to have to upkeep the components of your ship. Right, Your power plants, let's say fuses for your power plants. You're going to have to upkeep that. So finding things that help with those kind of things is going to be paramount when you add in the persistence when you add in the resource management you know um it's something i'm really excited about something i'm really really excited about 